well today I'm going to finish up the story of Jephthah, the elected judge. Uh, this comes from Judges chapter 12. Now following Jeph Jephthah's victory, well really God's victory using Jephthah, following the victory over the Ammonites, uh, the people of Ephraim, for whatever reason, approach Jephthah and say, so what was all this about you going to fight the Ammonites and not using our help? And Jephthah says, well, I called you, but it was obvious you weren't going to help me, so I went and took matters in my own hand and whooped up on the Ammonites and didn't need your help. And truthfully, with, with God giving him a victory, he, he certainly did not need the help of the, the men of Ephraim. So he called together the men of Gilead, and he went to battle against the men of Ephraim and kicked their butts, and then he claimed the territory. And after the battle was over, as men were trying to cross back over the Jordan to get to the land of Ephraim, uh, they asked all of the men, are you an Ephraimite? And if they said no, then they were asked, all right, say Shibboleth. And if they said Sibboleth, then he could tell by their pronunciation that they were actually Ephraimites and not Gileadites. So Shibboleth means floods, interestingly enough. And they killed all of the men who were trying to cross back to their homeland. So they definitely took out their vengeance against the Ephraimites. So Jephthah led Israel for six years. Israel may not have been at peace during those six years, but they were under the leadership of Jephthah. Now another interesting note is from here to the end of chapter 12 are listed three additional judges all led during times of goodness. This was not times in which the Israelites were doing evil in the sight of the Lord. They were Ibzan, Elon, and Abdon. And these were men who were all notably wealthy and good leaders. And so that ends chapter 12 from Judges. I don't really have any big point to make, but uh, that was the end of Jephthah's life and the quick mention of three additional judges. Coming up next is the story of Samson. Have a blessed week. Bye.